Hello everyone, and welcome to the 32nd Coco Programming Tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to have a little more fun than we usually do, which isn't saying much because we always have fun. But this tutorial, we're going to be learning how we can do status bar applications in Coco. And a status bar application, at least by my definition, is an application that runs up in the top right section, and it is Basically, you know, it doesn't really have anything else other than the icon up here, and it can have its own menu, and you know, pretty much whatever it wants there. But, um, but status bar applications, if that's really all they are, is basically an application that won't have a menu bar over here. So as you can see, if I select this, it doesn't actually have you know Dropbox here as the application it's running. It really just has its icon and it doesn't even have a dock icon, so um, they're kind of unique in that sense, and I'm going to be showing you how you can build your own application like that in this tutorial. So anyway, with that, uh, we basically have all this uh, stuff that we have to build, which is the icon and uh, the menu, and obviously we have to have some kind of quit option as well uh, for this, because we have to have some way that we can quit it since we don't have a menu bar. But I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own windows like this from the menu or the, your status item and you can quit it like this as well. So um, basically this is just a brand new Xcode project or Cocoa application and I'm using Arc for this tutorial. Uh, it won't make that big of a difference but you'll see that I don't release one of the objects anyway uh, or retain them for that matter. But anyway, um, that's what I'm using for this tutorial, and by now you should know enough about that to not be too confused. So anyway, uh, we have that, and I've also added to this tutorial just an image. It's a very just small 18 by 18 image. I just took a random image from my desktop basically using Command Shift 4, and you can use the crosshairs to get some kind of small image that would fit into the menu bar. It really doesn't matter what size it is, uh, but you know, just make it small enough so that it's going to fit into the menu bar. All right, so uh, so go ahead whenever you get that and make sure you copy it into your Xcode project, and then of course uh, we're going to label this image.png. So that's just uh, when I reference that later in the tutorial. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So now let's get to the fun part of actually creating this. So what we need here is, uh, since we're going to be using this window in our application, this is just like the default window that you get in your main uh, menu nib file. And what we want to do for this is we want to uh, use this window to actually, um, we're going to open it from our status bar application later. But by default, this window opens up when the application starts, and we don't really want that for our uh, application. So if you can go over to the Attributes Inspector when you have your window selected, just change under the Behavior, Visible at Launch, just uncheck that, and that will mean that obviously it won't be appearing when you launch the application. So uh, that's good, and of course we also need to add some kind of menu item option so that we can have our own menu when we click on the status bar application that we're building. So we can just drag a new menu out. If you just type in menu in the search bar down there, you'll get the menu option. And from here, we're just going to go ahead and change some of our uh, you know, items. So we'll delete the first one, and I'm just going to make this one, call it show window. And this one, I'm just going to call quit. Alright, so now that we have that, I'm going to put two instance variables into my app delegate. And again, for this tutorial, I'm just using my app delegate object. I'm not creating a separate app controller, but if you want to, that's fine. Uh, these are just so simple that you know you don't really have to create a whole separate object just to you know run them in. So uh, do whatever you may, but uh, just make sure you're connecting it to the right object, and I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, you know, by now with 30 some tutorials, you, you probably know what you're doing. But anyway, what we want to do here is create two new objects uh, for both the NS status item, which is the actual item that's located up in the menu, and you set the title and the image that you want to display using the NS status item. And then we can also have an IB outlet to this menu, which we have to add the menu to our status item so that it knows uh, to display it. So the first thing is, like I said, our NS status item, and we're just going to call this status item. 
And then the next part is our IB outlet to our NS menu. And we'll just call this menu. And once ever this thing loads here, we'll have we'll just form a connection from this to our menu object like that. And we just make that connection. So there we go. And now uh, once we're done that, we can now start, you know, kind of coding this in. So flip over to your app delegate.m or your implementation. And you can do that by three finger flipping if you're using a trackpad if you want as well, or you can use the jump bar like I just did. And what we want to do here is set up our awake from nib to basically set up our status item so that it's ready to display whenever this application's done building itself. So to do this, we want to initialize our status item, of course, to have some kind of object to work with. And to do this, we're going to get the basically the status bar, and we're going to get the status bar to give us a new status item that will become the status item that we have here. So to do this, we just get the status bar that we have running right now. So we just say status bar, and we get the system status bar. And then from there, we just ask the status bar for a new slot, basically, to put the status item. And so to do this, we just say that we want a status item with length. And there's two different options for this. We're going to be using the NS variable status item length. And there's the other option is the NS square status item length, I believe. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And that just means that it's a uh, fixed length, but that's no fun. We want to add some crazy text and stuff to this too. So we're going to make it variable length, which means it can basically be whatever we want. So uh, with that, we can now start setting up our status item. So we'll say status item. First thing we're going to do is set up the menu for it. So we'll say set up menu or set menu. And we're going to set the menu to be our menu option, which is just the instance variable connected to our object right there. Then the next thing is that we want to set up our status item to display a certain title. And the title, I'm just going to call Yoda Bar for this application. And then what we want to do is also set up a few other things. We're going to set the highlighting mode. So we can say set highlight mode. And if you set this to yes, basically what this means is that, uh, for example, if I click on the time machine icon, you see that it turns blue whenever I click on it. But that's uh, that's the effect that you'll, you'll get if you set the highlight mode to yes. Basically it means if you set the highlight mode to no, then it won't highlight the menu bar option. And you can see the difference by testing that out on your own. And the last thing we're going to do is set the image that we're going to have as um, up in the status item. And to do this, we're just going to pass an NS image object, and we worked a little bit with NS image already. And to do uh, to create one, a new one, we can just say NS image uh, image named, and just pass in the image name, which is our image that we added earlier to our uh, files on the left, like I showed you in the beginning of the tutorial there. All right, so now that we have that, uh, there's two last things that we really have to do for at least the main portion, which is getting these two methods to work. So for the show window, we want to connect an IB action. We'll just drag it out into our implementation here. And we'll just say show window. And we'll make a nice little connection like that. And now that we have all that set up, what we want to basically do is just show the window. So this is kind of a two-step process, though, if you don't really have any user interface to your application because first you have to tell the menu bar application that you want to become the active application so that it knows that you know it's going to be kind of in the front and then you also have to tell the window that you're using to become the which you know the key window or the main window that's appearing and I'll get into more details with key and main window and stuff but uh, for now I'm just keeping it simple for this tutorial so, like I said, the first step is to make us the active application. So, we can get an instance of NS app, and NS app is just a global instance of the application you're in right now. So, it's just an instance of your application, which is an instance of NS application, in case you really cared to know. So, NS app is just a global variable that you can use that means the application you are right now. So um, NS app we can use, and we can use one of the NS application methods, which is uh, we can use to active activate 
and ignoring other apps is the method that we want. So this means just we're going to activate our application, and yes, we're going to ignore other applications, whatever they're doing, because we want to, we want to become the active application. All right, so now with that, uh, we are going to, now that we're basically the active app, we want to set our window to be up in front. So uh, to do this, we can use a method called set key, or not set key, but uh, make key, and order front. And basically this method, uh, in simplest terms anyway, is really just to make yourself the key window, which uh, is basically the window that's, um, I don't know how to, the active window, so to speak, the one that would be uh, with the colored signs and not grayed out in the background sort of thing. So it's the active one. And basically order front would just be uh, you're in the front of the stack for uh, the all the other windows that you have. So you can you can technically arrange your windows that you have, but you're going to be the active window. All right, so with that, uh, now that that's done, you're going to have you're now the active app and you're going to make this window in front which uh, again this window is just an instance of this window right here because again this is a property that's connected in interface builder when we start a new application or a new uh, Cocoa app in Xcode. So now that we have that the last part really is to connect this quit item we just do the same thing like we did before and I'll just call this quit and this is pretty simple. All we basically want to do is tell our application to terminate. So we'll just say NSApp. Again, that's just the global instance of our application. And we want to say terminate, and we'll just pass in nil. It doesn't really matter what you pass in. It's just technically uh, the sender, but it doesn't, for this case, it really doesn't matter uh, because we're not going to use it. So um, you can just say terminate nil, and that will just uh, take your app and terminate it. So that's uh, what you want to do for quit, and uh, there's more you can do with this, but for our sake, uh, we're not really doing anything, we're not saving any information, so we don't really care. It can terminate, and we don't have anything to you know, store, so just leave it like that. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we're pretty much set to go, so we could go ahead and build and run this if we wanted. And you can see that uh, there's some kind of uh, unexpected behavior though if you just go ahead and run this. So uh, as you can see we have our menu bar that kind of pops up but like I said before that that's not really what we wanted. We really wanted this application just to be its own separate thing and not really to have its own UI. And as you can see though when it you know first shows up and then if you open the window it's gonna it's gonna bring up that menu bar and we really don't care to have that. And you can also see that it's in the dock as well. And like I said we don't really care to have that either. So we're going to go ahead and quit this for now. And what we need to do is tell our, ins or our uh, info p list or property list that it's not going to be basically a, a user interface type application. And to do this, you want to go to your project folder like this, select your target, and under the info panel, you'll see that you can have uh, the different properties for your application. And this you know, addresses the name of your application, a bunch of other junk, but what we're really, uh, we really want is to add a new key to this property list. So you can basically hover over any of these objects, and if you just hit one of the little plus buttons right next to it, you'll create a new key. And the key we want is application, and this is kind of annoying because you can't really read it while you type this, application, and we want uh, is agent. And what this means is uh, the technical key, though, for this, if you're interested, is LSUI element. But uh, for Xcode, you kind of get this nice little word explanation of the key. But anyway, application is agent just means that it's not, it's basically dockless, so it doesn't have a dock icon, and it doesn't have a, uh, a menu bar. So that's really what application is agent would mean. And we want to set this to yes, so we just want to switch that like that. You can, either type it in yes or you can change that by hitting the little option on the side and there we go that's how you do it and now we should be good to go so we can go ahead and build and run this basically if I go ahead and hit run you'll see that we get the Yoda bar application up there but you'll also notice that we still don't actually get a menu bar and we don't get a dock icon either so now it's just running up in the menu bar and if I click it, you know, nothing really happens, but I get my image and I get my Yoda bar. If I hit show window, 
it, come, it becomes front and center. And uh, if I try it again, you can see that, again, it becomes that main window and it's still there. And then when we want to quit, we can just quit it like that. And just as a side note, you know, you could switch different spaces and stuff, and you can see that you still have uh, the cool little Yoda bar sitting in your, uh, your menu bar. So anyway, I can go ahead and quit this like that, and there we go. The application quits, and you're back to Xcode. So that's basically all I really had to show you for this uh, application or this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, there's, you know, cool stuff that you can do with this. You can play around with some of the other features like tooltips and changing the actual view so you're not just using an image. And, uh, you know, there's a bunch of different stuff that you can really do for... Uh, for working on this and you know you're basically what you're just dropping is the dock icon and your menu bar so uh, anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, please subscribe to the channel and I'm working on getting source code for these tutorials kind of up in some location and I'm working on a website uh, apart from that so that I can kind of set that up as well but anyway that's uh, other news for another day since it's not uh, really you know set to go yet but anyway uh, uh, just you know, add in some news to uh, the tutorials. But anyway, I will see you in the next Coco or whatever tutorial you watch next. See you then.